Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Raghavendra. Today we are going with an example. A triangular plane lamina of size 25 m is resting on HP with one of its corners touching it such that the side opposite to the corner on which it rests is 15 mm above HP and makes an angle of 30 degree with PP. Draw the top and front views in this position. Also, determine the inclination of the lamina to the reference plane. In simple, it is a triangular lamina of 25 mm side. It is resting on HP with one of its corner. As it is resting on HP, it has to be parallel to HP and with respect to the corner means corner has to come towards left side. Here, he has not given the angle with respect to the HP. Theta he has not mentioned. Only he has mentioned the phi. That is side opposite to the resting corner that is making an angle of 30 degree with respect to VP. So as it is side, it is a non-locus. But he has not given the theta, but the thing is he has given a value to calculate theta. That is side opposite to the resting corner is 15 mm above HP. With the help of this one, we have to get the theta. That is, he has asked that one also, that is determine the inclination of the laminar to the reference plane. So first draw horizontal line, 15 line, that is 0.13 mm. Name it as XY, VPHP. This has to be X, this one is Y. VP and this one is HP. So as it is resting on H2 with one of its corner, corner has to come towards left side. Side is 25 mm with dark line, draw 25 mm line in donor direction. Use arc method to get the third corner. So 25. Similarly from this corner also, 25 mm. So join these two corners. So this length should be 25 mm. Name the corners A, B, C. Project the corners to the XY line with the help of thin line. From A to the XY line, from B and C to the XY line. Join these two with thick line. Change the thickness to 0.5 mm. So naming, this is A dash. So B is visible, C is invisible. So it will be B dash in the bracket C dash. This is the first position. So resting on corner, corner has to come towards left side and on HP means it is parallel to HP. Simple thing. Whereas coming to the second position, he has not mentioned the theta. If he has given the theta, you have drawn a line of length this much, that is A dash to B dash for an angle of theta. In this one, he has not mentioned the theta, but instead of that one, he has given side opposite to the resting corner is 15 mm above HP. So the resting corner is A, the opposite side is PC. This has to be at a distance of 15 mm above the HP. So for that one, First, above the XY line, draw a line at a distance of 15 mm. So just draw a line. It has to be a thin line. The distance between these two lines should be 15 mm. This has to be 15 mm. So just draw a line above the XY line. 
make sure that the distance between xy line and this line should be 15 mm now take this dimension that is 21.65 so anywhere on this xy line take it as a center cut an arc of 21.65 mm 21.65 In the portion join this end and the center this has to be a thin one so this length is equal to 21.65 mm this length is equal to 21.65 mm with the help of arc cut the arc on this 15 mm line so this name is same a dash Whereas this one is B dash in the bracket C dash. Now you can observe B dash in the bracket C dash is nothing but the edge or side. So which side that one? That is the side opposite to the resting corner. So that one is at a distance of 15 mm from X, Y, N or above the HP. So this is what he has mentioned in the problem statement. Now once again, the same type of problem, project the lines corners in downward direction from B dash in downward direction similarly B dash A dash in downward direction so from A horizontally till A dash so C it is there on this line till this point similarly from B on this line it, the B will come so till this line project till the extra portions so this will, will be the A this is b this one is c so join all the three corners with thick line so this will give you the theta this so 44 degree 44 degree will be the answer theta is equal to 44 degree. This completes the second position. For the third position, he has given the side opposite to the resting corner. It is making an angle of 30 degree with respect to the BP. So side opposite to the resting corner is BC. BC has to make an angle of 30 degree with respect to the VP. So first draw a 30 degree line. angle of this line should be 30 degree with respect to xy now copy this top view on this line copy this top view on this line so the bc should be on this line so the length of bc is 25 mm only because it is parallel to this line so first draw a 25 mm line on this line 25 mm the namings are same this is c this one is b we have to get a so this and this length that is ab is equal to ac because it is a regular triangle earlier so the length will be same so this will be 20 mm this will be 20 mm so from c as center cut an arc of 20 mm mark BL from B as center cut another arc of 20 mm. Where both the arcs are intersecting, that will be the corner A. So this is corner A. Join AC and AB with dark line. This is A. Now project all the three corners to the in to the front view. So corner A, it is there in the front view on X line. So till X line project the corner A. C. It is there on this line 
till that line project the c similarly b till this line trim the extra portion join all the three corners with dark line a dash b dash c dash once again a dash this will be a dash this corner came from b so it will be b dash and this one will be c dash so you can show the arrow mark this one has to be upward because we have drawn from bottom to the top and these are towards the right side we have drawn so right side arrow mark so these two lines came from the top the downward arrow mark uh, this one these three are upward So he has also asked to determine the inclination of the laminar to the reference plane that is 44 degree write the answer that is theta is equals to 44 degree so this completes the problem thank you please subscribe my channel